Good afternoon, it's me again, TV, back here at TV's Kevin. Uh, just putting that knife together. I just cut a quarter inch dowel down to about a, oh, almost an inch. And I'm going to take the hammer and drive it through that hole I just drove through, and I just glued my handles on. Got my knife guard on there. Uh, let's see if I can find the hammer I was using. Any old hammer will work, really. You don't have to have a special hammer, but a mallet is better. If the trick is you don't want to force anything. You don't want to hit it too hard when you're driving it through here because you could break your dowel. Or you get stuck in there and then you have to drill it out so it'll happen and then you have to put another in. See how I'm just lightly tapping. check and see if that glued hold. And we're coming through it all right. I think so. It's fine. The flying colors looks like. Let's see if we're going in. Oh yeah. See I've got a little much looks like. I over estimated my length. I didn't need that much. So there's a reason it wasn't coming through. Go ahead and tap this all the way through. Hope I ain't knocking the other side off and that's exactly what I'm doing. That's what I figured. hit it too hard, we'll have to cut that off some, and I had super glue holding that, and then I fouled it up with this. That's alright, hang on, just hang tight. I'll have to be buffing and fitting this down to right anyway, I've got to drill another hole, which that's what I should have done, I guess, for putting this on. But it's alright, I'm just going to take my hacksaw now, if I can find it here. Yeah, I've got to get me a work area because working out of your kitchen and getting too much stuff in the way is just not a good idea. Now what I'm going to do here, if it's at all possible, I'm going to try to cut that off. Just like I did that other stuff. What I need is my vice out there. May I take it back out there? What I'm using is uh, a down quarter inch dowel rod because I couldn't find any brass rod. So that's why we're I'm cutting it out of wood. Brass would have been much better. But a quarter oh just laid my hand open. That was real smart of me. Yeah, I'm gonna bring a little blood, but that's okay. We're gonna be fine, it ain't hurt. Won't be the last time I've nicked myself doing something stupid. Alright, <laughs> back on with the project. You can cut my hand off, just nick my thumb in. It's not a big deal. Could have been worse. So you want to be careful when you're doing this because you can do what I did right there. Cut yourself easy enough. So always be careful, that's the key that I would uh, suggest. Now if I hold that down so that super glue will dry, now well, that ain't what I had in mind and I don't know why that's not coming out quite like I had in mind at all. The plumb on this was supposed to have been up a little bit but done glued it. Now well, that'd be okay, it'll work. Alright, now not quite finished with this. Uh, I'm going to drill another hole right here in this blade, uh, in the handle, to hold it on. So since that other side's dry, I'm going to roll it over and drill it through this way. 
kind of put pressure in that so that'll dry and then I'll have to grasp all this down where it's comfortable uh, to work. And it, it will work. I just got some bumps to work out on. Let's see, where's the next spot I want to fill that? And I want it right in the center like I had that one. That's cool beans right there and you want it to kind of look good in the center. I'll have some rasping and sanding to do to this before I can paint it and make it look good. But it's, I believe it's going to work just like I planned it. Here, that's a little off. I want to, would like to move it up just a little. See, well, what you're supposed to do though, and I'm not doing here, now see that's off too. I want that right in the center. Right in the center from here to here. So that'll look good and it'll be good. Hold good. Uh, right there is where I'm going to drill my hole. Uh oh. Got a little rough on it, didn't I? Alright, here we go. Got a hole through that one. Fantastic. Now, what we're going to do, let me get that thing clamped down there so that glue will hold. That's been a been problem in messing up my glue. What in the world got under it? Something has got under there. And yeah, a bunch of metal. Metal. Ooh, got me some in my hand. That's another thing you really want to watch out for is metal shavings. An act, they can really cause some problems. Now watch this, I'll clean them out. Then that'll lay down. I got it in my glue and I didn't want that like that. But I should have drilled it before I glued it, I guess. But I thought it was glued down and seal. I should have let it dry first and you, I didn't. Getting in a hurry, see. You either let it dry, let the glue dry first and then drill it or drill it before you let the glue dry. The other thing I should have done was took a punch beforehand and, and, and dotted where I wanted my holes. But you can't see through that handle once you do that. Is why I was doing it this way. Now let me go and get a, another dowel cut and I'll be right back with you. See, what did I do? I think I left it in there. One more dowel. Okay, uh, I'll be back shortly. I'm going to shut her off until... I come back. Thank you for watching. Be right back, so hang tight.